Hi Cancer and welcome to your daily tarot advice. This video will cover the time period of November 26th through December 2nd, 2018. <clears throat> I will pull one card for each day this week, but I'm going to start out pulling a card for your overall energy that you will be dealing with for the week, Cancer. So let's see what's in store for you guys. Okay, ooh, nice. You guys got the ninth house, okay? And I say nice because right now, the sun is in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ninth house energy, all right? Um, not only is the sun in Sagittarius, Jupiter has just returned to Sagittarius, ninth house, which is, is that's its home, okay? Jupiter is lucky. Jupiter blesses us. Um, Mercury is currently retrograde in Sagittarius at this moment in time. So there's a lot going on in that ninth house overall. So Cancer, this is a week of spiritual expansion, of consciousness expansion of feeling and experiencing your life and everybody in it from that place deep inside your soul it's not so much about the material and wants and desires and needs it's like you're just really in the vibes this week and you're really connecting and feeling everything for the good or the bad you're in the flow but as you're going through this it's like your consciousness is just expanding and you're seeing people in your life and the situation and the circumstances from such a different vantage point and view and it's like connecting dots in your head and bringing you peace to your soul to your mind and you're just at ease so very nice cancer I already know like this is a blessed week for you guys with that coming out so let's pull a card to see how each day this week is going to unfold for you specifically All right, nice. Here's your card, the chariot out on Monday. Victory, happiness, success. Don't give up on what you want, Cancer. You fight for it. You keep pushing for it. You stand your ground. You assert yourself. Be true. Be authentic. You know, toot your own horn. Shine your light. Do not hold back on Monday. It is a day of victory and success for you, okay? Oh, nice. <laughs> Look at this. Tuesday keeps getting good. Uh, we got the star card, which is all about healing, which is coming true, friendships, connection, um, again, being in the vibes, bringing about peace and restoration to others, um, peace and restoration and healing being brought to you, to your body, to your relationships, to your mind, to your heart, to your soul, okay, um, also could involve an Aquarius on Tuesday. Wednesday, we have the Two of Pentacles. So on Wednesday, Cancer, it's almost like um, maybe we have to make a choice or uh, we may be feeling like resources are being stretched a little bit thin. But again, fall back on this beautiful ninth house energy that's being bestowed upon you this week very, very strongly. And, you know, if it's about resources, I feel like you're going to get blessed and things are going to work out better than you expect. But some of you, there's a choice you need to make. And if that's the case, you really, really, really have to go with your soul, your gut, not your mind, not your heart, but your soul with this ninth house energy. And look at this, Thursday, Seven of Cups. This Seven of Cups has shown itself many, many times um, throughout these readings. So Thursday could be where there you have a lot of options to choose from and you're just like trying to brainstorm. What do I do? What's the best way to go about this? Um, you could be caught up a bit in fantasy land, which is okay because, you know, everything is conceived initially in the mind, right? But don't, you know, drift away. Um, also, you could be getting a lot of um, romantic attention on Thursday. Nice. Friday, Six of Swords. This is where we have peace of mind. We're moving into calmer waters. Things are really working out. Things are going our way. So if there was a bit of tension on Wednesday or Thursday, Friday, it's it's all smoothing out. Everything's okay. We're feeling good. 
you know, um, we're moving into the weekend. Now, Saturday, we have this Five of Wands, which is there's some sort of internal struggle going on with you, Cancer, where you're, again, I think it's about this choice, like, what do I do? What do I do? Um, I feel like you're kind of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth about something like trying to come to a decision, really trying to reconcile things within yourself. And then on Sunday, you end with the magician. So that's good. It's all going to work out. Cancer, like seriously, don't fret. Don't worry. Um, if you if you are in a struggle on Saturday with somebody, you guys are disagreeing, butting heads, not seeing eye to eye, you're feeling frustrated, things just aren't working out your way, just let the energy flow, Cancer, let it flow because by Saturday, I'm, I'm sorry, by Sunday, it's like you're feeling the magic once again, all right? Now, Cancer, I stand true to what I said when I first started this reading. You guys are really, really, really in the vibes this week. So you're going to be highly receptive, very sensitive. Make sure you're not picking up other people's struggles and emotional problems this week just because your energy is just like a sponge. I don't know. You're going to really expand consciously, okay? By Friday, I see that. And Sunday, the magic's coming in and you know exactly what you want to do, what you need to do. And it's no longer a question. So if you're struggling with a decision or trying to find a way or a solution, by Sunday you figure it out and all is well. So let's pull you an advice card, Cancer, to see how we can best navigate through these energies. But Monday and Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday and Sunday, awesome, awesome days. Just Wednesday, Thursday, and maybe Saturday might be a little bit of an issue, but overall, Cancer, good, good week. Okay, so question the real intention. This is your advice, Cancer, and it says, Jealousy destroys all relationships. Selfishness and ego lead to hatred. Recognize those who intend harm before it happens. Protect yourself by concealing your plans. Remain low-key. All right, so this is making good sense now. Um, and about a decision. So this could be a job, Cancer. This could be a relationship of some kind in your life or some other circumstance where you have to make a choice because you feel like something is not <clears throat> in your best interest, maybe it isn't really on your side, okay? And you, it might not be like you're struggling here. Whatever it is, it's like there's benefit to it, but maybe you're coming into the perception of what is taken away from you outweighs the benefit of what you have been receiving in this situation, circumstance, or relationship, all right? And so this week, because you're really feeling those vibes, trust your soul. Don't trust the words of other people if they feel false. Be authentic to you. You have a lot of spiritual energy flowing through your life this week, which is trying to lead you to the truth, lead you to smoother waters, bring you more happiness. And, you know, if you make your decision, you might struggle with it a little bit on Saturday, like, oh, did I make the right choice? Did I make the right choice? Yes. Cancer, you will. You need to trust yourself because we have the magician on Sunday, which tells me that anybody who's been tomfoolering you, it's all going to come to light and you're going to know, okay? You're going to know who is true and who is false. And, you know, sometimes that hurts, but it's better to know who's true and who's false in your life, right? So by Sunday, you're you're in a good place and, and you know the truth, all right? So really just be aware this week, but you know, you have the upper hand. So let's pull oh a card and night wind wanted to come out facing fears, subconscious release, healing. Yes. Cancer things that were hidden are now going to come to light this week for you. Just be very discerning. Be very perceptive. You have the upper hand and there's a blessing coming in for you. For those of you who have been the underdog, you know, and kind of been in the struggle. So yeah, look at this goddess of creation, transformation, creativity, wholeness. Uh, this is your outcome for the week. And I just feel like whatever comes to light 
it like is your path to freedom it's your path to wholeness there's new beginning if it's about a job there's another job that's better for you if you're being very oppressed okay um if somebody's really screwed up cancer they might be working overtime to right their wrongs this week okay but ultimately be incredibly perceptive and observant but you're already in the vibes don't let anybody's sad, sappy story dissuade you from seeing their real and true intentions, okay? And if you know somebody's a bad seed and a bad apple, this is a very good week to finally let them go because there's some newness for you, Cancer. There's some creativity. There's some fertility. There's transformation taking place. And, you know, Sunday, there's some magic coming in. So trust your intuition. Don't let anybody dissuade you. Be very perceptive. Okay, so those are your messages for this week, Cancer. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.